I don't know if you knew this, but Kathleen is an expert at the cowbell. She should have been known for it back in the 90s. <laughs> but sometimes it takes many years for people to appreciate it. Yeah, the cowboy is definitely an instrument that as a woman you can walk into a store and ask for one and they're like... I did this with a triangle once in North Carolina where I was trying to get a triangle. I think this was in a movie. Anyways, but, but I do always remember the triangle thing when I think of the cowbell of like going into a music store that's predominantly guys and you go up and you're like, I need a cowbell. And they're like, what kind of cowbell? Like, am I supposed to know what kind of cowbell? Like, they're like, what? Is it, am I supposed to be like, C sharp cowbell? And they're like, well, do you want like titanium? Do you want like, or, I guess titanium's a Sia song or something. That's not a real cowbell. I just, I don't really know my metals. What is this metal? I don't, God, I'm just a girl, I don't fucking know. The, then there was that amazing thing on uh, Facebook in the last week where a woman went into a store wanting to buy some audio equipment and then she live tweeted, not being helped. <laughs> and it went on for like, hours. People are fucked up. Okay, wait, I gotta keep talking even though I would not think I would say this before this song, but I, when I was in a band called Le Tigre, <laughs> for that fucking compliment. You all know it. Um, oh, wait, what band coming? <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, we um, had, we were going on tour and I toured with this melody, Gibson Melody Maker, that's like my favorite guitar ever. But it goes out of tune all the time. And it's great because it's three quarters, so it like, just my size. <laughs> but, it just kept going out of tune, so we were like, okay, we're a serious touring band, we have to get two just matching guitars that stay in tune, one for when the other one, if we break a string, and be like, professional style. So I went into fucking Guitar Center. <laughs> I know, bad move already, it's like, um, it's like, do you want to be insulted by like 30 people at a time, or just like one? Well, one guy plays Freebird on his guitar. <laughs> so I go in there and I'm like, no, of course, nobody's helping me forever. And I'm like looking, I'm like really in a hurry because we're actually going on tour the next day and we don't have guitars, except for my fucked up Gibson, which is beautiful. And then they're like, the, finally I find a guy and I'm like, I'm going on tour, I need to find two identical guitars that stay in tune. I already have my pedal situation, so it doesn't, it can just be like a neutral guitar. Like I do everything with pedals. And he's like, oh, I have exactly the thing. And I am, right now I'm 47, I was 37 then, 36. He fucking took me to the Daisy Guitars and wanted me to buy two Daisy Guitars. You guys, those are super cute if you like that kind of thing. Well, also if you're 12, right? Like... <laughs> Did he think I was in like a rock camp band? Rock camp, yay! But it was so weird, I was like, I don't look that young. I mean, whatever. Anyways. Um, I mean, you do. This is a song about being compelled to like, even when people are assholes, to keep being nice. Yeah. And having it, that we should be able to be kind to each other, but we don't live in a society where we're actually all equal. So we can't trust each other, and that's okay. We have to fill, find ways to build bridges and to argue and to discuss. But the thing that pisses me off is I want to be kind of generous and give people directions on the street and not think they're going to be jacking off in their car. But usually they're jacking off in their car. <laughs> so I don't give directions anymore and that fucking sucks. But also you're kind of bad with directions. So. <laughs> oh my god, sexism in action. See, we still need to have a lot of work to do, Mr. Melman.